Hello, and welcome to a statue review for My Hero Academia, The Amazing Heroes, Nejire Hado. So, today we finally have the final piece for the big three. To my knowledge, this is the first Nejire uh, statue they've released. I could be wrong, though. At least, anyway, by Banpresto in sort of The Amazing Heroes, in the sort of cr uh, prize figure kind of line. So, I'm quite excited to crack this one open. But before I do that, we'll take a quick look at the box, and then we'll take a look at the statue itself, obviously. So that is the front. This is volume 16. As we'll see in a second, every release of The Amazing Heroes has a volume number, and each volume has two statues in it, I do believe. So that should be 32 statues, if my maths is correct. So that's the front. We've got the side, which is like more of a zoomed out look at her. Uh, we've got that side, which is a different look at her face and her horns, which I do love. Uh, the top, just the amazing heroes. We've got the, uh, this is A, I believe. Ban Presto logo there as well. And that's the legal stuff. And on the back, as we can see, she is A out of volume 16, and uh, Mirio is number B. Number B? Letter B, you know what I mean. Uh, right, so, anyway, we've had a look at the box. Time to open her up. B-R-B. All right, I am back and I have constructed her. So it is time to now take a look in detail at Nejire Hado. So she was a little bit finicky to set up, but I'll get to that in a second. So we'll begin with her translucent base, as a lot of Banpresto figures do come with. And then we'll start with her feet and work up. So... First thing I noticed, she doesn't actually wear any shoes. These are just like her feet, but then I guess she does float, so that would make sense. Uh, right, so anyway, we've got her kind of bodysuit, obviously. Uh, and then she's got like the cool green things, which I've always quite liked. I don't know exactly what they are or why they wrap around her, but they do. She's got one of each foot, and um, what I quite like is the modelling, so... Because her leg is moving there, that's tight against her leg, obviously. But because it's hanging down on this one, it's kind of more free-flowing, so it's a nice little detail there. And on her details, we'll move on up to her little utility belt. She's got one there and one there. What's in them? Who knows? And then, round to the goods, the stand, um, which plugs directly into her butt. So make of that what you will. Um, but yeah, her bodysuit continues then with its pattern, kind of white teal. Is that teal, turquoise? I don't know, and blue. I'm not very good with colours, I apologise. Uh, then, up to her wrist things, which, again, are very weird. Um, I don't know if there's like a canonical reason why she's wrapped in green things around her arms and legs, um, but she's got a very like twirly, twisty kind of thing going on with her outfit, so I don't fully understand her powers either. She can float and like shoot energy beams, I think. Um, but yeah, she's kind of got a bit of a dragon thing going on, I guess. So we got her first gloved hand, which is like out open palmed, which is pretty cool. And then moving on over, we've got her other hand, of course, uh, where she can do the very cute pose. I will be doing a photo collage thing in a second, so we'll get better shots, of course. Uh, whereas, of course, these also flow out. These are less movable. I mean, you don't want to move any of these, really. They are PVC. They're going to just snap if you move them too much. But, you know. And then we've got the face, which is adorable. Because uh, Nejire is very cute. She's sort of an airhead, which I do love. Um, I played her quite a lot in One's Justice 2, which is the arena fighting game. Uh... Quite fun, to be honest. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get super deep into it, but I did enjoy playing Nedgery, even if she is a slightly cheap character. And then we've got the real goods, those horns, uh, which are her hair, I guess, right? Or are they part of her outfit? I can never work out. But yeah, these, these are kind of soft, so again, be slightly gentle. But she does come quite well wrapped in bubble wrap in the box, which is cool. Uh, and then, on to her massive amount of hair. She has an incre- this is the most amount of hair I've ever seen on a statue. Um, so much so, she even has a stand for it. Now, this stand is a little bit weird as well, in that you've got to kind of position it. So I think that's the correct position. 
So it's like load bearing, if that makes sense. Or I think it goes, there we are. I think, I'm sorry, that I think is where it's meant to be. But obviously as I'm moving it about, this does kind of come loose a bit. But you know, just make sure if you are displaying this, make sure it's clipped in, well, not clipped into, because it doesn't clip, but the hair is standing where it should be, just so that it doesn't sort of weigh the statue down or snap this over time. But yeah, that's uh, that's the overall look at Nejire Hado. So now it is time for the photo collage. So I'll go and take some more in-depth, detailed photos in different angles and stuff, put us some music, and show you guys more of the statue and stuff. So here goes that. That was a really bad transition. I am back and I've had some fun taking photos of Nejire and of course I had to bring out the other two as well I mean she's a member of the big three it's it would feel wrong not to uh, and honestly I think she goes perfectly with them so before I get into that though a breakdown of the statue I am very happy with uh, Nejire I feel like the the hair is really big but I don't think there's any way they could have worked around that unfortunately it is sort of a bit of a weird feature that she needs a whole stand for her hair but i mean that's just how it is unfortunately really that's possibly my biggest gripe but other other than that i really like nedgeri i love her design i think she's a really cute character so very much happy to have that she'll add to my my Hero academia waifu shelf as well have they made a statue of mount lady yet I really hope so. Uh, oh, I hope one's coming up anyway. But yeah, overall, I think this is a really good, like a solid statue and stuff. For the price, uh, I do love the fact they did make her float and everything as well. It's very in keeping. It would have been weird seeing her on the ground because you never see her on the ground really. Well, not in her hero outfit anyway. So, I mean, yeah, it, it's, it's very cute. I love that sort of the display angle is downwards, basically, kind of like looking up at her. It's very cute. It kind of, yeah, it really just fits her, um, fits her kind of vibe. And mainly, though, the main reason I got her is because she goes perfectly with the other two, other two Mirio and uh, Sonita is just like... It just works really well. I think they look really cool together. You've got the kind of serious guy, well, the two serious guys, and then they're just like goofball in the back, kind of backing them up. Um, and yeah, so I'm, I'm hoping to kind of make a nice display for these three because they are some of my favorite characters from My Hero Academia. And yeah, I, I think it just, it works really well. They've all scaled really well together as well. I do think Sonita is from a different line or maybe Mirio is from a different line, I can't remember, but I mean, they're not far off the scale. But yeah, that about wraps up my sort of unboxing slash review of Nejire. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Let me know if you've got any of these, or all three, um, or if there's other Nejire statues, because whilst I love this one, you know, I'm always on the lookout for really cool statues as well, and I know there are more premium ones, these are the kind of £30 range, but I know there's ones for like 80 or like... 200 even there are some of them so yeah let me know in the comments what you know what you think of the big three uh oh if there's any my hero academia statues you'd recommend because uh i'm i'm kind of you know I, i've dedicated myself now to having a bit of a collection for i'm going to try and maybe put a shelf or two of my debt dolls just dedicated to the anime so you know it's uh it's it's a growing collection i've definitely got a few more on pre-order that i'm looking forward to so I'll definitely be making some more My Hero Academia statue videos in the future, so stay tuned for that. Along with a ton of other just anime stuff, trading cards, Pokemon, if that's your stuff, check out my previous videos if you haven't already. Uh, and as always, I greatly appreciate the views. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. 
and until next time, goodbye.